What's up guys, this is The Rifeman and I'm back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Russia. So to kind of run off up and last time we are still pushing eastwards through Persia into India. I've got this army in the north um, sat on top of this bridge to stop any pushes westward <clears throat> from any, any um, uh, Mughal Empire stacks. Got this stack in the centre ready to hedge its bets and attack this limited little stack as and when it arrives. I've got this stack ready to just find a position to hold against um, any raiding forces, just moving up. Then I have this army in the south that's reinforcing, ready to engage this stack in Kolachi. And then I think I got this army in the north that's running up to reinforce the northern effort, because one's going to go to Kashmir, one's going to go to Lahore. And I'm also recruiting a new force up near Moscow to take advantage of all of these lovely elite troops. So let's get rid of this unit of line infantry guards and instead recruit two units of Russian Tsar guards. Oh, can I only have... Oh, looks like I've recruited them all. Actually, this, this unit already have... So we've got two of those, two regiment of foot. Okay, so let's get rid of those and get two units of foot guards. I don't have the funds. I'll leave it for now. I can't recruit them anyway. Do I have any light infantry? Not especially. I don't need dragoons because I've got my household cavalry being recruited, but I may as well <coughs> do a bit of lurking. Oh, I need to fix this fur market. Sami to the north is still just kind of acting as a bulwark in Sweden. They're reinforcing. Everything seems okay. Diplomacy. Um, not make peace with Britain because I want to conquer their province eventually. In fact, one army I would like to sail down across the Indian Ocean and land and take Ceylon. So that could be the um, then the army from Moscow. So once that's recruited, and by the time that gets all the way down here, um, I'll have established a foothold in India. And then I can start sending that army down here to take Ceylon. Then use this army. To then, then use the Russian army to go up to take Calcutta, and then. Start chucking stacks in from Ceylon onto the Indian coast, start pushing westwards from about Calcutta, then start pushing in from the northwest from my conventional land forces. I think that sounds like a reasonable plan. Tech seems to be going okay still. Quick is important. This tech is important. Although it's going to gradually erode my unhappiness. But let's hit end turn. Oh, I need to optimise my uh, priest location as well. So like in Esfahan, that has a church school, I need to check that there is any religious unrest, because if there isn't, I may as well move my priest forward into uh, small villages that don't have religious buildings to reduce the unhappiness. It, makes, it ends up being a more effective use of religious resources. Building a navy would be useful too, but ideally I'd like to conquer India before I end up having to, or at least have conquered a chunk of India, so I've got all the riches starting to fund the development of that navy, because it's going to be quite difficult to build up from scratch. Oop, just a minute, I've got a cough. Oop, sorry for that, guys. And I'm back. Um, the Ottomans are pretty much neutered in this effort. Good, falling back. Like I said, I'm not in, I'm not bothered about conquering Sweden for now. Um, that army's just there to hold them up if they try to run around the coast. Ooh. Well, this is classic Mughal Empire. The stacks are coming. That's why it'd be super handy to have quick climb. Should have made it a priority actually before. There is a fort in this region. Several Yes. First, you know, key area. So you are going to not make it there in time. You definitely won't make it there on time. Well, this stack has retreated. So you move on and take the town. 
And let's bring this army down here to reinforce and support, given time. Firstly, it's pretty much going to be, um, um, this is going to be my MO for lots of these Indian towns, is to build forts. Shipyard, not bothered, I'd rather have economics and industry. My raiding army, they can come down too. Esfahan does not have any religious unhappiness, and it does have a church school so, or seminary, so I may as well move this chap down here, because they do have religious unrest, and I don't have a religious building waiting for them. Let's see, I have... Fractions, unless I pull... Hmm. Once I pull them back. And let's get. Swap to. Swap. Swap so, Union of Artillery and Union of Militia for them. Have them sat to the rear. Have them in. Or oh, actually, the tactical decision might be to put two units of cav out, put them in, so if there is a battle, then they can reinforce. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, so other economics. How's Azerbaijan doing? Yep, so let's get you out to Kabul. Same story. They have a church school, so they're still converting and they don't have any religious unhappiness, so it doesn't make sense to keep the priest there. Oh, Tsar Great Cannon 64. Oh, God. Can Moscow build that building yet? They're a few steps away. Let's build that to upgrade. To get some more ships in future. So upgrade St. Petersburg as well, because this could, could be quite important pushing down through the northern front. Well, the northern flank of my eastern front when that happens. Um, it looks like it might end up being Prussia that's my big blocker. Moldavia. Yep, still converting you to Orthodox. Istanbul is converting as much as they don't want to. Islam's dropping dramatically. What can they recruit? A nice selection of good elite troops. Excellent. Now well, let's fix this winery. Let's fix the trading port. Good. Let's try to get this rake to do a very long trip down to here. This can take many, many turns. Cool. Right. Let's see if they, if these stacks reorientate based on this uh, capture, which I think they will. Also, musketeers. Some elite musketeers as well. And they got mortars at the back. Melee, just a melee army, really. An assaulting army. So, well, let's see what happens. It might be wise to actually. No, I don't, I don't think that would make any difference. Keep Nizni researching on them. Suhungale or Suhungale, they're researching machine tools. Good. The Cherokee. Do they get destroyed and then brought back? Has anything weird happened over here? Doesn't look like it. It's like a fairly normal... Fairly normal United States. Cool, alright. Let's hit and turn. Hmm. The key nation is India. Everyone else can be annoying. 
but India can be can cause some real headaches if they gang up on a on an army of mine with multiple stacks of theirs. Like if I if my stack gets destroyed, even with heavy casualties, they can replace their troops. They can replace their forces much more um, quickly than I can replace mine. Lithuania is being sneaky. Good. See, I'm glad I left the Ottomans alone. Now I've not got to worry about if I'm going to invade Venice or not. Because I'll definitely, I'd have definitely won in the entire Greek peninsula. Right. Oh, so their troops going back. Probably reinforcing Punjab, Punjab province. Mm hmm. So they're raiding, being sneak sneaks. They have laid siege to me in that Indian region. Um, so I think I will. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Enemy raid, enemy raid, enemy raid, new royal heir. Construction. Let's just get all this economic stuff out of the way. Yep, you're within range to hit them. And as they retreat, cool, reinforced, and ship you back up to here. This stack, finish them off. Come down to this crossing. Let's rebuild the happiness building and rebuild the palatial estate. Already got metal rows. My raiding army's coming up, but not fast enough. Yep, let's fight this battle. Sally out. They have a strong melee. Oh, they have a strong melee force, and I've got lots of artillery, so it's tempting to just. They'll have to run towards me if they want to fight. Let's find out. Let's see what deployment's like first. There's the other stack to worry about, but I've got my reaming down. There's nothing to worry about. Then go check my Moscow army that's being recruited. And God, it's going to take them forever to get down to this theatre. This is why roads are such an important deal for uh, for the Russians. Strategic mobility does not work. Hmm. Firstly, let's well, let see if they want to play. If they want to... See if they want to come at me. Because the eye sometimes doesn't do that. See if they want to give it a go. my lances on one side, put my general in the centre. Nope, they clearly definitely do not want to play, but it's not their artillery, is it? I thought it was. I thought they'd gone and deployed their artillery forward. Oh no, they are coming. Come and militia on a route back up to that direction. Mobilise you. It's a bit too long. So 
It's not a graveyard of fire, but it's good for this flank. I'm being engaged by something. All the way out here. Zimandari horsemen, I can I can attack them. If they're not gonna be reinforced by these camels. I think it'd be smart to try to soften them up a little bit. They're in melee uni, melee infantry unit army, and I'm going to experiment with charging them. Let's try carcass shot. See what that does. Engage the cover on the flank. Cocker shot did something. I think it took all them out. Where's back to my cavalry? Should be a good win. They're light skirmish cavalry. Oh, now they're doing it. Now they're off. Provoke them somewhat. Still, my artillery is still engaging. Oh, it must be. Or oh, it might be theirs. Yeah, they're engaging my cavalry with carcass shot, by the looks of it. Go for it. Getting the first charge. Trouble is, they are Sikh warriors, they are very good.
This map is re-engaged melee. We need charge melee infantry and deranged infantry. Bad things happen. God, even that many guns, even if they're rubbish, will be devastating. Charging my militia. Seek warriors, which are very good. back into the mix. Charge the dervishes in their ear actually, they're about to break. God, I'm hitting the wrong units with that artillery. charge going I guess let's just keep keep on going the general will chase after the Sikh warriors some horses to this. Look at that proud Indian dervish is being chased down by my militia. And they will get them all eventually. They're, tired. They're more tired than my guys. Dervishes are the ones to engage. The rest of these guys, these two fangies, well these Dakali dervishes, they all 
are just pretty naff line infantry, so... Engaging them myself is a bit of a non-story. Seek warriors chasing after them. Oh, they are going to get some though. Send the line forward. Halt, halt, halt. Try round shot that cavalry. Not cavalry, elephants. Get my lances onto the mortars. Hit these guys with their hand mortars. 258 infantry. Oh no, I have to reload. Shame. You're going after the dervishes, you're going after the mortars. You're just walking over here. You are halt firing. Hmm? No time to hand mortar, you're going in. Oh my god. Hit a unit of Sikh warriors. I think that should be it, but all the same, well once this mortar company's gone, I'm going to continue the battle to try and wipe out as many as possible. Continue. It's almost a requirement when you're fighting India. Because I mean You've got so darn many of them, you need to take every opportunity, if you can, to actually create these sorts of losses. Oh, my mouse got stuck. Stop the firing. Indian mercenaries are gone. They've made off. It's just this one single Indian mercenary left on the field. And. Jab. Excellent. It's a nice defence of my captured region. Let's have a look at the def Oh, God, only 800 remaining. That is devastating. But excellent for me. Good, good, good. Lovely defence. It's not a very lucrative region. <laughs> I see 271 and they still kind of don't like me. So you're going to Pakistan. You can go straight on to Narun Kotsind, I guess. It's a shame there's not... I have to just start relying more on the maritime route rather than the land route because that would be one single turn to get there rather than multiple turns of walking. But say, Levy. Anyway, looking at the time, I think it's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.